What's happening my beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike and today I'm looking at putting together a basic guide for all you FIFA Ultimate Team newbies, early on players. Maybe you haven't put in that much work. There are certain things you should do in the beginning if you want to generate coins, you want to get the best out of playing Ultimate Team. That's what we're showcasing today. Yeah, I got good energy. Hashtag it's in the game. If you enjoy the content, make sure to drop a thumbs up. Pass it around the community a little bit. There's going to be some tips and tricks you might know about and other ones, well, you might not have ever heard about some of these other exclusives. Also, in the comments down below, let me know if I left anything off the list. In this video, I have 10 to 12 different early on tips for really building the ultimate club when you're doing FIFA Ultimate Team. Yeah. Right before we jump into it, if you need games, pre-orders, FIFA points, a little bit of a better rate, Head on over to G2A, use Dirty at checkout, you're going to get an extra discount. Yes, sir. Let's start with simplicity. If you've ever played any FIFA installment, then guess what? You're going to have a catalog and you're going to have a level, uh, probably a decent level if you've put in a lot of time. And now when you go to Ultimate Team on the catalog, you've got the ability to loan players, which saves you coins, you can put together a squad. It means you don't have to start from the bottom. You can put yourself in a position to be successful from the jump. And you're seeing a lot of lone players if you're on early access right now. When you're in the catalog, you can use the reward boost to get additional coins every single match. And they don't stack. However, when you use one, it runs out. You can use another and so forth and so on. You're going to be able to generate some goodness. It's free coins. Take those. Also, highly recommend FUT increase transfer list size. If you're going to do any sort of trading, and in the beginning of FIFA, there's a lot of opportunity to make a come up. Even the websites such as an FUT bin, a Foothead, a Footwiz, they're not all up to date on prices. So people are making mistakes left, right, and central in terms of what they're listing players for and they don't really know, ah, oh, is the value here, not so much there. People aren't pro traders yet. So there's a lot of opportunity to make coins early on in the game and coins have a lot of value. Another point, do not use coins to open packs. If you want to open packs, Make an investment because your coins, especially early on in the game, they hold way more weight than FIFA points ever could. Last section in the catalog is utilizing the kits, which you're seeing right here, where you can get them for free. You can either quick sell them or you can list them on the transfer market and you'd be surprised people will buy them. Just keep listing them, keep listing them. That's part of trading is putting in that grind time. People will see a jersey they like and they don't even think that it's in the catalog and they just purchase it. And you might sound a little bit skeptical about that, but trust me, I've done it every year. People will buy some of the more popular kits because they just don't realize that it's in the catalog and there you are. You're taking advantage of somebody else just not doing their homework. And the same goes for different balls. You can buy those, quick sell them or list them up. And if you've got the patience, if you've ever seen a Nepenthes video, he trades with the bronze pack method. If you don't know what the bronze pack method is, Basically, you buy bronze packs and you sell everything in it, and it does take a long time. You may have to relist those items, those players, 10 to 12 times on the transfer market, but when they sell, are you going to profit? Are you going to be able to buy more bronze packs? 100%. It is a grind technique. It's not the most creative, but it is a technique that will get you a constant increase in coinage. Just something to jot down once again. If you're new to trading, you might feel more comfortable making that small investment. Next section, we have manager tasks. You can see I've completed one out of 14. If you knock out all the manager tasks, which are very simple, it's almost a quick little mini tutorial for playing FIFA Ultimate Team, you're gonna get a free pack. Free packs, that's good. You never know what you can get. I've seen people right now that have been completing the squad challenges, which we're gonna talk about. Uh, they had a great starter pack, they got a good pack from the manager task, and that put them at a point where they were able to play better now. They didn't have to wait because they got a little bit lucky, and that's kind of what FIFA's about at times. It's just like if you pack a legend, Ronaldo, Messi, Suarez, Neymar, and so forth and so on, that one pack opening might make your entire year if you use it right because you have these coins that you can now utilize if you want to make investments. You're just ahead of other people to put it simply. Welcome! I just mentioned squad building challenges. This is new to FIFA 17 and it's a great way to take players that you weren't going to use, throw them into a squad and get some benefits and there's all sorts of different squads that you can put together. I'm sure you guys have seen some videos but this is something you should do at the beginning of FIFA because you can generate coins, you can generate new players come to the club that are going to be much more valuable than some of the free stuff you got. 
When you load up FIFA, a lot of times you have reward packs and they're just not good. A bunch of bronze players here. Uh, I got a few loans that might help me out, but they're just not going to be players that you're ready to put into your starting 11, but that doesn't mean throw them out. You can utilize them. Don't discard players, by the way. Let me stress this in just a moment. Next, you saw my transition. Do not discard players. If you're playing early access, even if they're bronze, silver, and especially not if they're solid gold players, when the game officially comes out, which for me is on Tuesday the 27th, I believe, and in the UK and Europe it's the 29th, which is Thursday, you can make a lot of money at that point in time. If you have a key player, their price is going to go up because people are now going to be able to play with them or they want the opportunity to put them into their squad and they don't have a 10-hour limit. Every single year we see the likes of Kevin De Bruyne rise he's gonna rise or Ibrahimovic gonna rise Ronaldo gonna rise and so forth and so on and they don't have to be that high rated those cheap overpowered beasts early on in the game a lot of times they're not that cheap and you're able to sell so many random items and random players you'd be shocked on the transfer market so just make sure you're not discarding anything because one you've got squad challenges that you can use some of that stuff you didn't like and two you could sell it if not now just wait. Just wait a few days and you'll be able to ship it out and you're going to make some coins. If you're in the transfer market, I recommend trading between the four big leagues. So you have the Premier League, the La Liga, the Serie A, which is no longer called the Serie A, and you have the Bundesliga. Now those four leagues, whether you're getting silvers, maybe overpowered players, just keep checking prices. If you've played Ultimate Team in the past, then you'll be able to kind of pinpoint guys that are going to be used and abused or look more attractive to the eye and that's not complicated either if they got a lot of pace they got good dribbling they got some skill moves these are things people look for there in attackers every single year and those players you might be able to grab them right now in early access or even at the beginning of the game for a very small percentage of your little coin base your bankroll that you built up and you can grab a bunch of them wait on them just watch them rise there's players that i own right now that I might get for five or six thousand that I know are gonna be twelve to fifteen when the game comes out. And the big four leagues is important. Even if you're going with silvers or bronze players, people are more prone to purchase out of the big four leagues, which makes trading pretty straightforward. Because you know they're just gonna go up. As soon as possible, build two squads on FUT. Why do we do that? Because you need to have a fitness team and your main squad. And what you're going to do if you're new to this technique. You've got your main squad. They're getting tired. You don't want to put fitness on them because that's a waste of coins. So you go to your other squad and then on the bench you load it up with everybody from your main team. And that means everyone's going to heal up. If they have injuries, everything's going to be all good. And you played one game. You could play versus the AI if you wanted. You could play an online game. And you got everybody on your main squad. They're feeling rejuvenated. And you saved a lot of coinage. Also on that note, sell players that are running out of contracts. If they're going to be a temporary player in your team, don't waste contracts on them. Don't go buy contracts if it's a player that you're like, ah, I might not use him. No, ship him back on the transfer market, get some coins back flowing, and then you keep it rolling. I didn't even mean for any of that to rhyme, but it should make a lot of sense logically as a good way to save some coins. In the beginning of FIFA Ultimate Team, chemistry matters. So if you're not able to build your dream team, that's fine. Most people aren't. But make sure you got a squad where everybody's on decent chem because your players will perform better. Your team's going to move better. At least in my experience with FIFA. Especially when you're dealing with teams that aren't flowing how you were hoping they would. You don't have a bunch of 85 plus players, okay? Those guys sometimes, they don't follow the rules of chemistry because they're so talented individually. But if you're using bronze, silver, non-rare golds, make sure you got some decent chemistry because they just perform better. They do! Last thing I want to address is signing into the web app. It's free and every single day you get free gifts. And that goes on at the beginning of any FIFA launch. So utilize that every single day. Get your daily gift. It could be a pack, it could be uh, some loans, it could be free free coins off the, off the rip. Who cares? It's absolutely free and it takes you all of 15 seconds. You can do it from work. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed it, drop a thumbs up. I have a lot more content coming for you guys ASAP, ASAP. I'm ready to get that journey going. Get in the comments down below and the social media icons at Dirty Mike USA. Let's go.